Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to install IntelliJ IDEA into your computer. So before we do that, let's first install the Java Development Kit. So head over to your browser and search up JDK Download. Hit enter. Okay, and over here you will see this link. So let's click this. Okay, so once you've arrived to the screen, scroll down a little bit until you see Linux, Mac OS, and Windows. So select the system that you're on and click the appropriate download link. So I'm on Windows, so I will click Windows and click the x64 installer download link. So let's do that. All right, so once you have done that, you will see this jdk-20 windows.exe icon or for whatever system you're on, you will see this icon. So let's double click this to install it. All right, so once you have double clicked the icon, you will see this screen over here, which is the installer. So let's just click next. And so this is the folder. It will download the program in. So if you want to change that, you can click change over here. All right, so after that, let's click next. And we'll wait for this to download. All right, so once that has installed, you will see that Java SE Development Kit has successfully installed. So we can just click close over here. All right, so now let's install IntelliJ IDEA. So head over to your browser again and, and search up IntelliJ IDEA Download. Click that. All right, so once you have done that, you will see this first link over here, www.jetbrains.com. So click over to this link. All right, so once you've arrived to the website, you will see this screen where it says IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate. This addition costs money, but if you scroll down over here, you will see IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition, which is completely free to use. Okay, so let's just click download over here. But before you do that, make sure you've selected your system so i'm on windows so that's already selected okay so let's download this all right so once you have done that you will see this icon in your downloads folder so let's double click this all right so once you have double clicked the icon you will see the welcome to intellij idea community edition setup screen so let's click next to continue all right so since i have intellij idea already installed in, into my system I will need to uninstall that version in order to uninstall this version. So down here, I will click uninstall silently. So it will save all my settings from my old version. So let's click next. OK, so here's the choose install location screen. If you would like to change this, you can click browse in order to change your location. But I will keep this location the same. So click next. All right, so for this screen, It'll ask you a bunch of different questions. So the first one here is create desktop shortcut. If you'd like to create a shortcut on, on your desktop in order to quickly access IntelliJ IDEA, you can select that. And also the update context menu. So if you want to add a project directly onto your desktop, you can select this in order to do that. So for the update path variable, we do not need to click this. And for the create associations. We do not need to click any of these either since we have already installed the JDK. So let's click next. And over here, you'll see this screen, the choose start menu folder. Uh, I'll just leave this as is and click install. All right, so once that is installed, you will see the complete IntelliJ IDEA Community Edition setup screen. So let's click finish. And if you want to run IntelliJ IDEA, you can select this over here to run that automatically. So let's click finish down here. All right, so once you have done that, you will see, maybe you'll see this screen or maybe you'll see a different screen. So if you already have IntelliJ IDEA installed into your system and you want to reinstall it, you will see this screen with all of your projects on it. So one more thing I want to show you. So let's click new project over here. So you will see the JDK option over here when you create a project. So click this and select the new version that you installed. So click that over here. 
So now it'll update the JDK or it'll add a new one. All right, so over here, make sure you have Java clicked and you have IntelliJ IDEA selected. And for advanced settings, you do not need to change any of this. All right, so add sample code. If you want to add like the main method or a few lines of code like hello world, for example, you can select that. So I'll do that here. And finally, up here, this is the name of your project. So I'll just name this test one. All right, so let's click create over here. All right, so once you have done that, you will see this screen over here with some sample code like I've shown you before. And you will see this new tab with uh, what's new in IntelliJ IDEA. So you can read this if you want. This will give you some helpful information about the code editor. And over here, here's your class and here's your main method. So now you can start creating your projects. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and comment down below if you have any questions. And goodbye.